How to connect a car battery. To reconnect your car's battery, all you need to do is connect the car's positive and negative cables to the correct battery terminals and secure them in place. We'll walk you through it step by step and also explain how to clean your battery to remove corrosion or remove it from your vehicle and replace it altogether. Welcome to Auto V Fix, our YouTube channel dedicated to all things automobiles. We offer clear explanations on car-related issues and essential components, as well as professional tips to help maintain your vehicle. In this video, we will guide you on how to connect a car battery. Keep watching to learn more. Connecting the cables to the battery terminals. 1. Keep the key out of the ignition and turn all electronics off. Set your headlights, dome light, and other electronics to off. Otherwise, a power surge may occur when you reconnect the battery, possibly damaging the car's electrical system. If your car has a start button and keyless ignition system, unlock all doors and keep the key fob away from the vehicle to prevent the electronics from starting. Two. Slide the positive battery cable onto the positive terminal. The positive cable will have a circular red connector, while the positive battery terminal, also called a battery post, is labeled with a plus sign and may also be marked in red. The red connector slides onto the positive battery terminal like a ring sliding onto a pole. Slide the connector onto the terminal with your hand until the connector lies flat against the battery. Three. Use a wrench to tighten the connector onto the post. Locate the bolt on the flap of metal attached to the circular red connector. Turn the bolt clockwise to tighten the connector and secure it to the battery post. Keep tightening until the connector is firmly clamped and doesn't move easily. This will prevent the connector from coming loose due to vibrations from driving. 4. Connect the negative cable to the other post and tighten it in place. The negative cable has a black circular connector, while the negative battery post is labeled with a sign and is sometimes marked in black. Slide the black circular connector onto the negative battery post, just as you did for the other post. Use your wrench to tighten the connector until it no longer moves easily. 5. Insert the key into the ignition and start the car. With the battery connected, the dome light should come on when you open the driver's side door or when the key fob comes close to the car. Insert the key into the ignition and turn it to start the vehicle or press start if your car has a keyless ignition system. The vehicle should start and run normally, cleaning and inspecting the battery and connections. 1. Put on safety glasses and rubber gloves to protect your skin and eyes. Choose workers' rubber gloves to prevent electric shocks or to avoid acid burns from battery leaks. Likewise, the safety glasses will protect your eyes from chemicals in the battery. 2. Use a wire brush to scrub the battery terminals with baking soda and water. Mix 1 cup, 272 grime of baking soda with 1 3 cup, 80 ml cars of water to create an abrasive paste. Spread the paste onto your wire brush and scrub the terminals thoroughly to remove any corrosion or buildup. Use a dry rag to remove the paste when you're done. 3. Scrub and remove any rust or debris from the battery cables. Spread more baking soda water paste onto your wire brush, then scrub the metal connectors at the end of the cables. Remove all rust or buildup to ensure electricity flows freely when the connectors are reattached to the battery terminals. Use a damp rag to remove the paste when you finish. 4. Apply anti-corrosion spray to the battery posts and connectors. Apply plenty of spray to prevent rust or debris from accumulating again in the future. Spray both the positive, plus, and negative terminals of the battery, as well as the inside of the wire connectors. Use a clean rag to wipe off excess spray. 5. Check the cables for cracks and other damage. Inspect both cables closely. The positive cable's end connector is often either painted red or has a red plastic clip attached to it. The second cable is a ground cable, which connects the negative terminal of the battery to the body of the car. 6. Replace cables if they're damaged. To replace the positive cable, use a socket wrench to remove the nut that connects the cable to the alternator. Slide the loop at the end of the cable off of the nut, then slide the replacement cable's loop in its place and secure it with the nut. 
To replace the negative cable, remove the bolt that attaches it to the body of the car. Then swap the new cable in its place and screw the bolt back in. Removing and reinstalling the battery. One, turn off the car's engine and remove the key from the ignition. Double check that all lights and electronics are turned off. If your car has a keyless ignition system with a start button, unlock the doors and keep the key fob far away from the vehicle. Two, locate your car's battery. Most car batteries are found in the engine compartment. However, some cars have their batteries in the trunk or behind a plastic panel in the passenger compartment. Three, disconnect the negative cable from the negative battery post. While wearing rubber gloves, use a wrench to loosen the black connector on the negative cable. Pull the connector off the post and set it aside inside the engine compartment, away from the battery. Avoid letting the cable make contact with the battery terminals. Four, disconnect the positive cable from the positive battery post. Loosen the red connector and pull it off the post, just as you did for the other cable. Set this cable aside, away from the battery and black cable. Use caution to prevent the cable from touching the battery terminals. Five, remove the battery hold down mechanism. The hold down mechanism secures the battery in the battery tray. Some cars use metal hooks that are loosened by hand. Other cars use metal or rubber straps that are clipped into place or bolted down. Six, remove the battery by carefully lifting it out of the battery tray. Firmly grab the battery by its sides and slowly raise it out of the battery tray. Set the battery down on a nearby table or bench. Avoid touching the battery terminals to prevent electric shocks. Car batteries can weigh over 40 law bees, 18 kilo, so be careful not to drop it. Seven, position the battery so the wires can reach the terminals. Hold the battery above the battery tray with the terminals in the same orientation as they were before the battery was removed. Do this whether you are installing the same battery or replacing it with a new one. Eight, Use both hands to lower the battery into the tray. Grip the battery from the sides as you lower it into its tray, being careful not to pinch your fingers as you do. Remember that car batteries can weigh weigh 40 pounds, 18 clouds, or more. Use caution to avoid dropping the battery and injuring yourself. Nine, reinstall the battery hold down mechanism. If your car uses a strap, pull the strap over the battery and secure it on the other side. If the strap is held on by a bolt, use a ratchet to tighten the bolt and hold the strap in place. If your car has a hook, rotate the hook by hand or use pliers to secure the battery. If the hook includes a bolt, use pliers to adjust the bolt and move the hook into place. Here are some warnings. One, always wear eye protection when working with your car battery in case it ruptures. Two, connecting the battery cables incorrectly is extremely dangerous. Three, be very careful not to confuse the positive and negative wires or terminals, or the battery may overheat, burst, or catch on fire. Congratulations! You have completed the tutorial on how to connect a car battery. If you found the video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more DIY automotive content, and hit the notification bell. We would love to hear your suggestions for future topics in the comments section below. Remember to always drive safely and stay happy. Thank you for watching.